Well, it's a quiet morning out here. We are just about ready to jump off. Season two of Way Up Lane kicking it off. We've kept it pretty quiet about what we're up to, but now's the time. Uh, so I've got Ida here sitting with me. It's already covering some ground. But uh, we're in North Dakota this year, guys. Uh, we're going to take on the Matahe Trail that runs through the Missouri National Grassland. We'll get the day started. <laughs> free and uh yeah we aren't gonna be walking that we're gonna be biking it so we'll give you gear updates later on i'm waiting for alex from apt outdoors he's on his way over here to the trailhead right now we camped out right here uh this is the southern end we're starting at uh which is way south of medora and uh, we're gonna take it from here so uh, yeah, uh, I've got the shotgun strap, uh, of course, uh, all of our gear in our trailer. The trailer weighs probably right there at the, right there at the edge of too much. <laughs> um, and we'll kind of give you guys an idea of what we're running. Obviously, with the dogs, our limiting factor is going to be uh, how far can we run with the dogs and then still hunt. So that's kind of uh, what we're going to be uh, working off of. We could, a lot of mountain bikers will do this entire trail. As a matter of fact, it looks like there's a race going today. A lot of mountain bikers will do this entire trail in like four days, four or five days. Um, it runs the whole way through this national grassland. But uh, because of the dogs and water and uh, hunting along the way, we're obviously not going to take on that big a chunk of distance because the dogs wouldn't be able to handle that uh, day over day over day. Today is going to be a pretty big day. Um, we've got about 10 miles slated just to see if all the gear breaks in and see if uh, what it's like. Um, we're obviously pushing quite a bit of gear. Total weight uh, bikes around 34 pounds. We've got camera gear on the back so probably more like 40 um and of course trailer shotgun all of the essentials in the back we're probably telling mid 60s um so we've got about 110 pounds worth of gear okay break this way so as you guys can tell, Alex is taking a different route than the bike. <laughs> Maybe the more sane route. <laughs> the dogs are ready to go. Alex and I are gonna get a couple kickoff pictures. Alex, what do you think? What's the, any last minute uh, nuggets of wisdom? Uh, I think I'm gonna eat all my food in advance and uh, be, be lighter throughout the trip. Sounds like a good plan. I might eat four days for the food in one day today. Uh, yeah, the trail uh, looks good and dry right now. It rained a little bit last night, but the trail looks dry. The dogs look ready. Alex looks ready. Look ready to go.
So, unfortunately, our section down here had to go pretty steep. Bad line to do. So, the trail's really pretty sandy. So, um, but you don't get a good enough run, then uh, yeah, push it in the middle. It's not right now. sharp tail that's really thin cover and she held him for a second they started running on her so she moved two of them flushed and went out over that way Alex is a ways behind me but we're just past the five mile mark about five and a half um, so we may take a pause in the ride juice the dogs up to see if we can get Alex's first sharp tail here we may gear up just to see what happens uh, I don't think they went very far. Wind's coming in our face. Probably worth a walk, so we'll see. You got a hold of them, miss? I just missed an opportunity at a couple of sharp tail. They're right at the edge of my range. Uh, flush wild. Rio flushed them, so I didn't want to. Um, didn't really want. Yeah, I know that's sharp, isn't it? Didn't really want to give positive reinforcement to that behavior. Uh, although I did want to eat sharp tail, so. Alex and I are debating whether we've got enough energy to finish another five miles and go hunt these birds. Quit. Uh, oh. We're taking a snack in. I got dates, Alex eating Alpo. Oh. May as well be. I don't know if you're allowed to have dates, dog. Alex, on a scale of poisonous to dogs, what's a date? Uh, that's a good question. Probably not instant vomit, but uh, might have some trail nuggets later. Get over here. I'll give you a piece of one. Hey, get over here. Get over here. You little trail beggar. So what we're finding out, bike-wise, is those first five miles from the south, when you're towing 60, that's less on the fun scale. But how's the hiking going, Alex? What's your pack weigh in at? Uh, with the ammo, the gun, we're probably low 40s. So not, not terrible. Uh, hiking's going pretty okay. This is in Colorado, for sure. And uh, I'm not pushing a bike uphill, so. Yeah, the bad part, and yes, for those of you who are wondering, I do have pants. Alex has pants too. We've elected to try and stay cool on the hike to not lose hydration, sweat too much, or on the bike. Um, we're having moderate success with that. She just ate the pit. <laughs> Great. I'll give you the pits. That's fine. If date plants start growing out here, it's because Ida planted them. Um, yeah, the, the uphills are a little bit brutal. Um, and still a little bit worried about water. Dogs have gone through probably 
We've got seven liters of dog water, two liters for me plus my bottle. Haven't seen any surface water yet. Well, very minimal surface water at the beginning. Yeah. So, uh, water could still be a concern. Quint, you're gonna get us all filthy. So, yeah, I don't know. I'm just gonna keep chugging along, I think. I'm not sure whether we're gonna try and follow these birds up or not. Down here in the bottom, you might actually be able to hear what I'm saying. The way Ida's acting, those birds were down in there last night. So, I'm going to hope they didn't cover too much ground. I mean, the wind's coming in our face, we have some too. I would expect her to get her in point. Or lucky. chance of rain today uh, according to the forecast and uh, I'm not even sure that was rain that might have been sleet but it did cool the dogs off we say re 
and I just cooled off. We've got a nice little open uh, field down here. We've gone about right under 10 miles. Um, I was hoping that maybe in the bottom of this creek there was going to be some water. You can see that's a, probably a seasonal creek that runs, but nothing in there right now. Um, but I do have about, uh, so I'm carrying four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, almost 10 liters of water when I started at the beginning of the day. And the dogs have gotten some decent water. So I've probably got three, I've probably got six left, which would be enough to get us to the next stop. So I think we are going to probably call it here. A lot of the rain's going through. This looks like a nice spot. I'm waiting for Alex. The trail comes right down through here. for Alex to get caught up. And, uh, maybe we'll talk about it, set up camp here, and this will be a good spot for the evening. Uh, keep you posted. And uh, I'm going to try and dry out a little bit. Was that sleet or was that rain? I think we got sleeted on a little bit. That was... <laughs> the only thing left dry to wipe my glasses off was my underwear. <laughs> I'd get a little creative. I think we're here, buddy. Yeah, I think so. This is a, a nice looking little clearing. Yeah. We, we made it just shy of 10. All right. We've got our camp set up. Buddy's uh, chilling. Got solar energy coming to fruition. Got tired dogs. Have uh, shoved a few more calories in. Um, definitely dry campsite, but between Alex and I, we've probably got seven or eight liters of water total. Um, so that's gonna be enough to maintain till the next spot that we believe there's water, which is the Missouri River. So that's really a, a, one of the huge issues out here and it's not because of the people it's because of the dogs we got to keep the dogs hydrated and, and cool and so they got to stay wet so um yeah uh we think we're okay um until tomorrow so we've really got camp set up it's really only two o'clock and here's part of the conundrum when you come out and do come to some of these things is we can't really take the dogs hunting today because that adds to their distance rio is probably already cut somewhere in the range of 18 miles because of her back and forth we did 10 on the bike and hike um, so if we wanted to run tomorrow we gotta sit probably pop out at top tonight take shotguns uh, if we can get the dogs to not follow us rio might sit in the tent ida would probably follow but, um just kind of limit their distance but yeah we're here at two uh Hang it. So Alex and I are about to prepare dinner. Uh, the only hot meal of the day. Uh, he will be chefing up chicken and dumplings. I did the uh, roulette pulled lasagna and meat sauce. Happy with that. Looks about right, if, if not even a little heavy. Okay, so we're each trying to measure out our water uh, so that we're only using one burner because we're on the prairie right now. And we had to hide behind a tent. We don't think it's good. the wind's going to drop down tonight for a while. So it's got to be enough, right? Yeah, cup and a half. That'll be enough. Uh, we're kind of in a dry section right here. There's no surface water. Uh, so this is all the water I've got left to drink for me. I've got uh, about the same amount left for the dogs, maybe a little bit more. Um, so yeah, we're kind of in water conservation mode. Uh, you gotta, 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 oh, I gotta, I gotta, never mind. Um, so, Water conservation mode, here we go. Uh, put the little lid on the little burner. Mm -hmm. okay. 
trying not to burn on the prairie. There was a nice flat hard spot over here. Oh, hello. So we're both on fire patrol. I'm gonna open up the pocket rocket. We're gonna try and block the wind as much as possible. The limiting factor out here is water. It's just the, it's just a fact. I mean, it's just there's nothing to do about it. Um, we're trying to avoid right now um, filtering out of cow wallows. It's a good first day. Um, we made the mileage we thought we were going to make. I uh, just finished up with dinner and uh, he's tucked in already over here. Um, so we'll see. Wind's going to howl right probably. Uh, I'll just be a good night's sleep. And um, I'm going to wake up tomorrow morning and do it all over again. Um, yeah. Uh, hope to uh, get on some birds tomorrow uh, and we'll have some new scenery to show you. It's about uh, 6 o'clock. Bedtime.